Who else we got? Who, who's this big crew coming in? That's Larry. Holy shit, okay. <laughs> Surround him, surround him, surround him. Yeah. I'll go, yo, so someone, someone over there, someone over there. Why did he bring Zay? Like, this is the horrible thing to do is to bring Zay. You got two people wearing masks. How you doing, Mr. President? Uh, I'm the mayor, Larry, but I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Some of you guys may know me. I am Larry Knox, the Silver Tongue Fox, adopted by the block, pen picked by Jack O'Terry himself. I am here to present you guys with the future may we may we sit down mr B? yeah take a seat take a seat go ahead uh tyreek if you don't mind uh passing out the pamphlet please yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me get these handed out to mr you. president right there for you bro bro <laughs> thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you tyreek. if you guys would like to you know go through that book you know it gives you a better understanding of what we're trying to build here <laughs> you see on page three just the you know just a kid from uh, Akron. <laughs> and um, if you look here on um, this is two pages. Scroll back a little bit, go to page one. Martin Luther King <laughs> back in the day, he did, in fact, had a dream at the Lucky Plucker. Miss Rosa Parks, they took a nice little photo <laughs> of her passing through the Lucky Plucker. Very beautiful, very beautiful. Uh, and then, yes, you have LeBron. He was there at the Lucky Plucker the other night. And, uh, I seen him there. He told me that this is the best place ever. He he couldn't he couldn't wait till it opened up. He couldn't wait till you know I took over, became the owner of the Lucky Plucker, and uh, you know make a make a difference and open up these opportunities for people that's you know that's not you know as wealthy. Oh as people my in North. god! Man. And then yes, I did get that picture of us. You know when we shook, when we shook hands in front of the Lucky Plucker. You know it was beautiful. It was a beautiful beautiful day that day. That was beautiful. And uh, just... also also I do have a. Uh, the jingle ready for you. Um, play it closer to you because there is, um, you know. All right. Um, quiet, everyone. Make sure your phones are silent and um, get this bad boy. Let's get this underway. Yep. Press play right here. Do you got lucky pocket money? Shut your ass up. Wait, hold on. Don't oh, lucky pocket take EBT. <laughs> Let's go get a Knox box, baby. We going to the Lucky Plug. Mm -hmm. uh. Lucky Plucker Chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Mm. Lucky Plucker Chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Uh. Lucky Plucker Chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Ooh. <laughs> Lucky Plucker Chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Ooh. Bitch, I'm in the park. Roll the windows down, I'm about to fork. <laughs> Eating this lucky plucker. Tastes so good, I'ma smack my motherfucking mother. Oh, lucky plucker chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Oh, uh, I'm dying. Chicken. If your ass so ain't leaking, what the fuck you eating? Oh. <laughs> 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 I got to edit that part out. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the outside, you know. So, but, um, we, yeah, we recorded this in the, the only studio we could afford at the time. You know, the re the reparation hasn't hit yet, so we we gotta work with what we got. You know, <laughs> let me get, let me get to that. Oh my Sorry. god, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, bring, bring, it, bring it home, Larry. Bring it home. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I got a frog in my <laughs> Mr. Lang, Buddha, you know me. We have our little history back in the day, you know what I'm saying? And I want you to know that I have been doing a lot of things that I feel like will make a huge difference, okay? A lot of people are, well, well, well I go around, I ask a lot of people, what are they what are, what are they plans? What are they up to? What you guys doing? And as always, oh, I think I'm about to go boost today. Oh, I think I'm about to go do something illegal. Oh, I, you know, I can't. Okay, make he's no bringing money. it home. He's bringing it home. Ends me. You know, and I say that I call that laziness, Mr. Buddha. I call that laziness. People don't know and people don't want to make money how it 
how, how money is supposed to be made, not doing they, everything illegal, do it the legal way. And that's why I feel we'll open up the lucky pucker, we'll open up opportunities for these people, we'll open up, uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking here? It, it, it will help the community. That's what I'm aiming for. I, Mr. Buddha, I don't care for the money. All, my, all the money lucky pucker is going to be made, it's going back to the community. It's going back to my employees. It's going back to buildings, the uh, uh, basketball courts, uh, schools, churches. Things people need, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. um, let me let me let me read here my let me make sure I get on track because I know I'm gonna say something crazy. So we will engage in the com in the community through uh, outreach, sponsorships, and initiatives. This will help us build a strong relationship with the local residents and other businesses, and to encourage further equity investments into the South Side. Okay, now this isn't yes. I do want the lucky pucker, and yes, it is a restaurant, and I already know, like, the sin is like, ah, I fucked the restaurant, fucker, you know, I don't want to know more. Rest. This isn't your ordinary restaurant. This is a hole in the wall. This is your new chill spot. This is the new, I don't know what to do today. Oh, let's go to the lucky pucker. All right, let's go. It's, it's that type of, um, I got a cousin, okay? His name is Juicy. Juicy, yep. he... He goes to a, he he lives in I think he lives in like uh, Chicago or some somewhere, <laughs> and Juicy tells me every day he wakes up he makes sure he go check in with you know big, big homie first and then he go do his ninety five at the little Waffle House. Oh my the God! Waffle House or oh, the 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 truff, the Truffle House that's what it was. It wasn't because you know they got that uh, the legality shit going on over there at the at the, the Truffle House, and he tells me all the time he loves the talking to people he loves listening to people he loves every day he wakes up there's always something new there's something different it's not always you know waking up and let's do xyz for the next how many months how many years doing the same thing over and over and over and over again and motherfuckers they're complaining that they ain't shit to do with lucky plucker there is going to be a lot to do okay well if you trust in me mr buddha to uh run this business Okay. Yep. This would be, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be better than EBT. What mm. is EBT? Mm. EBT huh? is another, for, you got this, Marcus? Go ahead. Huh? No, nah, I was, <clears throat> I was just going to. Okay. Go on. EBT is another formal way of payment. Uh, to those that are not wealthy, mm. they ask the government. Guys, help. I know it's fucking food that's stamps, man. Lang is too rich to know that. That's not fake money, but it's it's food money. With that EBT, and we accept EBT at the Lucky Plucker. Food stamps. Okay, food stamps. Excuse me. Why don't you ever stamp stamps. your food? No, 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 no. It's not. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Let me put it in rich people terms. Yeah. Let me let me let me let me put it in uh, rich people terms for you. Uh, okay, Mr. Buddha. Hold on. Let me see here. <laughs> It's like it's a voucher issue mm. by the government to those of low income, exchangeable for food. Oh, understood. Thank you. I appreciate you that. Go. Thank you for defining that for my me. Fault, Thank my you. Fault. My fault, Mr. President. So, okay. with, the mayor. with these food, <laughs> where, brother? <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, there's, there's a I farted. Sorry, Mr. President. With the uh, acquisition of Lucky Plucker, okay, we plan on yeah. to also provide more work opportunities for the people of Los Santos. Jobs specifically in the South Star are very scarce, as we all know, and it had a, like a real detrimental side effect on the economy. Okay, we believe that by bolstering employment in the area, residents will feel like they have a purpose. Furthermore, we believe that these opportunities will increase enthusiasm that the residents of the Los Santos have about the South Side. Historically, okay, it okay. is noted that the majority of jobs have been concentrated in areas outside of the South Side, and it's important that jobs are spread out throughout the city and a larger variety of people get access to meaningful jobs. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, Larry, 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 amen. Listen, now I'm starting to feel like I'm at church, you know? The thing about a pitch is if it's too short, it could be bad. If it's too long, it could be even worse. Oh, okay. Just letting you know. You continue, though. Oh, my fault, Mr. President. Um, okay, you know what? No, no more joking. No more. Okay, okay. I'm going to talk to you how I would talk to my mom if I want $10 out of her purse. Listen, right. Mr. Buddha. Yes. So, so I would be the best person for this ownership of this property there's no one in this city with more enthusiasm there's no there's no person in this city who is more willing there's no person in this city who will wake up in the middle of the night to make sure that this business is run as i attempt it to run okay you know me when i say something i mean it and if i mean it i'm gonna do it okay um I have never done anything to anyone that is untrustworthy. Never and never will. Everybody at this table can attest to you. Larry Knox is a very trustworthy man. I'm mm-hmm. an honorable man. Okay? Mm-hmm. I'm honorable as hell. Okay. Now, I don't mean to preach to you, but what I'm trying to get at to you is like from homie to homie, brother to brother. <laughs> Um, there's no one else that I know that can run this chicken joint better than me. No one, <clears throat> absolutely no one. Okay, listen, 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 like listen, 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 listen. Wrap it up, Larry. Now you're trying to piss me I off. I would treat this thing like it's my own baby. I woke up at seven o'clock in the morning to make you that five minute jingle. I woke up at or was it three o'clock in the morning to make you those pamphlets? There's, listen, when it comes to a motherfucker that has intuitive, oh, it's Larry fucking Knox. <laughs> There's nobody else, Mr. Buddha. Nobody else. Am I in goddamn church, Larry? Listen, I appreciate the passion. A couple of things, a couple of things, a couple of things. Larry. A couple of, pipe down, Larry. Pipe down, Larry. Sorry, Mr. President. Couple of things. First things first. Do I still have the black vote? Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's do this right. Let's do this right. Zay, Zay, do you plan on voting for Mr. Buddha next turn? Yes. Tyreek, do you plan on voting for the, uh, Mr. Buddha on the next turn? Y- y- yeah. A little shaky there. Okay. Uh. Marcus Moore, I don't need to ask. Shit, but I'm, I'm, <laughs> shit if I could do three terms, I would. You know I would. <laughs> <laughs> two, what is what two chains say? Two terms. <laughs> hey, hey, two terms. <laughs> hey, Don, Dante, who you voting for next uh, next turn? Definitely. Gonna be Cookie. Mr. Mary over there, Lang Buddha. What, what about you, Aries? Larry Fox says you. I fuck with you. Now it's only two percent outside the city that you know. I can you, you got know Dean they, Quincy and like. Cobb, Ooh, maybe. Wakabi. Wakabi. Wakabi, yeah. Wakabi, yeah. So, yes, you indeed have the black votes. All right. Now, here's the thing, right? First things first. Uh, this could work because the South Side has no food joint. But that is the only reason we're even entertaining this, is because the fact the South Side, I do believe uh, in what you said, uh, there needs to be some business down there. And uh, obviously, a food joint is no brainer. It's the only place that could actually have a food joint where I could see, uh, you know, the Senate's letting it slide. Yeah. But now here's a problem, okay? And I say this with all due respect, and I mean all due respect, Larry. Oh, all yeah, right. I, knew, I, knew he was gonna say I I gotta say it, and you know what I'm gonna say. I gotta say it. Listen, Wait, Arnie, you know? very good friend of mine. Okay, approached me in the same regard that you did. Uh, you know. Just so you know, this is uh, out of all business uh, presentations in the form of a book I've ever received, this is probably top three. Okay, so congratulations on that. Thank you. But I helped Marty open a fucking gas station, okay? At the time, I wasn't the mayor. This is more of a business partnership. We invested. We gave him a couple million dollars. He built a gas station. I think we took 20% equity of the company, whatever. In about three and a half weeks, a compound was built on this gas station and every other week 
countless, countless murders happened at this gas station. Explosions. People dying. Buildings on fire. Businesses shut down. People in handcuffs. Employees of businesses where they didn't know if they were going to go home that day. Because of the chaos Marty Banks brought. But what seemed to be a business then turned out to be a gang compound. Very. Mm. Mama, step in here, Larry. Mama, step in. <clears throat> Listen, with all due respect, Mr. Buddha, this has nothing to do with our affiliation around this city. The only thing this has to deal with is uh, DB, the brothers. And when yes, it comes sir. to the brothers, all that gang stuff is out the window. Mm. Now listen, yeah. the he South Side is the South Side. You know, you might have a guy who's coming up to the drive through is trying to get a bucket of chicken, mm-hmm. and the motherfucker yeah. who's been trying to clap his ass for three weeks sees him and comes and claps his ass. Those things could happen. But it's I need to believe and I need to know that Shit. if you were to run this business, it Purely from a business mindset, I swear to God, if I come down there one day because I want to get a fucking six-piece tender meal, and all I see is fucking gulag gang everywhere, posted up, selling drugs, threatening people, trying to clap motherfuckers, I'm going to be real upset. Now, mm-hmm. let me let me or something to you, Mr. Buddha. Not only were our employees wear bulletproof vests to, you know, for safety, for safety, I don't want you to alarm you, but safety. Because you know it's, it is still in a hard neighborhood. Yeah, who, of who course. Else, who else is harder than Larry fucking Knox? You know, working that bitch. So with mm-hmm. with with saying that, okay, with saying that. Um, damn, what the hell was I about to say? Something about protection. No gang violence, Larry. No talk talk about. Listen, Mr. Buddha, I can assure you, and and this is me, Marcus Moore here. I can assure you. The outside of the Lucky Plucker, we will have one appointed black grandmother. And if she sees any funny business going on, mm. she's going she's to say, I know y'all not doing this out here. Not mm. today. Mm. Mm. That's, that's a good like guarantee, actually. I like that. Mm. That's a, that, see, that's a good one. Because, you know, ain't, ain't like nobody that. around here more wiser than the black grandmother now. She'll call it's you true. baby, but, but she'll Facts. get you right. She mm-hmm. damn sure will. Mm-hmm. I like that. I need you guys to compile me a list of employees and their positions. What exactly you envision them doing within this business? A business model. Business model. Okay. Okay. Get that over to me because the presentation was great, right? If I go to the senator and I give him a fucking book of, uh, you know, uh, two pages of, uh, you know, phenomenal photos that convey a real message. But, you know, these guys, they like to read. They like the boring shit. They like the paragraphs. They like the essays. Mm. You know, they're going to slap me in my face. We, we got we got we got the business uh, proposal all yeah we wrote up. the business proposal he has he to send it over to you oh okay so send me the proposal does it have a does it have a business model included uh we, we, we can, can add that, that on we can add that we on that yeah add a business model you know who's gonna be the managers that you know zay knows what to do he's worked with me for a long time yeah i got it make it look all nice and pretty right and uh you know us me as the mayor i will back you in this venture and we will make sure we open a, you know, a fast food joint down on the south side, which is very much needed for a place that has been abandoned. You know, you can argue the reasons are right or wrong. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we need to prove a point here, Larry. You would be the mm-hmm. first man down black the man. south, black man, who can prove to everybody that not everything that started down there ends up as a compound. Mm. But it can be a business, a place for everybody to come eat, have a good time, and enjoy some delicious food. You know what I call that, Larry? You know I call, you call that? that? What you call that? That's Black History. That's what that is. Mm. We black, black History, history right there. Yeah. On this month. History right there. Are we making history again? <laughs> you, 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 you could be. You have the opportunity to, too, Larry. To fucking make history. Right? And Zay, you know exactly what I like and what I don't like. Don't fuck this up for Larry, Zay. I got you, man. I got I'm you. Have a good one. You know, we, Thank you guys for your time. If we being 100%, all pressure is on the you, Zay. Because if you fuck this up. That means I'm going to blood you while I go that game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Listen, I appreciate the time. It was a great presentation. Thank you very much. Right. Don't fuck this up, Larry.